are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Good evening, and welcome to Mr. Pop's Neighborhood. If you're familiar with this show, you're probably thinking, that does not look like Mr. Pops. Well, I'm Regina Dighton, and I'm sitting in, though I could never substitute for, I'm sitting in for Mr. Pops for the first part of this segment of the Mr. Pops Neighborhood Show. Pops will be with us a little later on in the show. I am Regina Dighton, as I said, and I'm the program manager of the Greater Hartford Children's Advocacy Center at St. Francis Hospital. We're so happy that this is our second time back with Mr. Pops. We're here this evening with the group under our wings. You're going to see some of our wonderful members, all of whom are volunteers. Under our wings is the Community Education and Outreach Project of the Children's Advocacy Center. And we look at all kinds of ways to teach people and motivate people to prevent child abuse. Just a wonderful, wonderful goal that we have. And we do it warm, we do it with love, we do it with great capabilities. This evening, we are reaching the generations. You are going to enjoy a great puppet show. And we have two young puppeteers who have worked with one of our volunteers to just put together this very educational and enjoyable and even sometimes comical show. That will be followed by a message, a musical message from a young adult to teenagers and young adults. We really know that we have to reach everyone. We all, all of the generations, have some role in caring about and caring for our children. And so we're, you know, just looking tonight at some of the ideas. I hope that you'll take some things up, maybe do some things that'll maybe make you think of something altogether different that you can do with young children, with teenagers, ways that you can reach adults as the, um, one of the, met, I want to call it the motto, I guess, of uh, Mr. Pop is each one, teach one. So sit back and enjoy the show. Developmental stages, early childhood, birth to seven years. Thoughts, will people believe me? Will mommy and daddy be mad? Children worry about how their behavior will affect others. Their primary concern is worrying that they are breaking up their family or upsetting people by talking about the abuse. Provide a support system within the family. Let your child know that you believe them and provide a strong sense of comfort. This can be shown through listening to the child and understanding any concerns or fears that they may have. I'm Billy. And I'm Betty. And we're the Speak Up Kids. We speak up all the time. Sometimes mommy and daddy ask us to be quiet, but they told us to always, always speak up to help keep us safe. safe. Mommy and daddy told us that our bodies belong to us, and we have private parts like those that your bathing suit covers. Nobody can touch us there, because that would be a yuck, yuck touch. touch. Ew! Yuck, yuck touch, yuck, yuck touch. We don't like a yuck, yuck touch. touch. We, we want to teach you a song. I got ears I can hear with. Eyes I can see with, a nose that smells, a mouth I can speak with, arms that flap, hands that clap. 
feet. Look that <laughs> kick in <laughs> right. <laughs> I got fingers I can wiggle. wiggle. I can even, even squiggle my toes. <laughs> That's how it goes. All these things are part of me. Some you can see and some are under my clothes. That's how it goes. So remember kids, we all have a lot of the same body parts, but we also have some private parts that we can't see. So it's important to respect your body and others too, even the ones you can't see, especially those. Whoa! You can't just come behind me like that, touch me like that, Billy. You have to ask permission. But I just wanted a hug. Oh, well next time, you ask permission first. Please! Okay, so did you see how Billy just came into my bubble and tried to touch my body while asking my permission? That's a huge no-no. You can't just touch me like that. You have to ask your friends permission if it's okay to give them a hug because everyone has their own space bubble. You have to respect their space. Now let's see if Billy was paying attention and try this again. Unfreeze. Hey, buddy, can I have a hug? Okay, but wash those hands, buddy. Okay. Hey, Betty, you wanna play a game? Sure, let's play tag. Tag, you're it. No, I don't want to play tag. Why not? I want to play house. What's that? That doesn't sound like a fun game. That sounds like a big kid's game. House? No, that's nasty house you're thinking of, but we could play that too. What's that? Well, you have to take off your shirt and let me touch you right there. Mm, take off my shirt and let you touch me where? On my bing bong? Your bing bongs, ha 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 ha, what are those? Well, my mommy calls them boobs, but I don't like that word. So, I call them boobies sometimes. Boobies? Yeah. It's, so, I have man boobs. Ta ha, man boobs? Yeah, so what do you call that? Well, I call that my flower. What do you call that? Well, my daddy said it's a penis, but I like the word worm. Oh, my sister calls that a pecker. Ha 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 ha. Well, whatever you want to call it, you can't touch my body because my body is my body and it belongs to me, not you. Well, okay. We want to teach you another song. My body is my body. It belongs to me. There's some parts you can and some parts you can't see. When a stranger wants to touch you, what should you say? Say, I don't talk to strangers, and please run away. Your body is your body. It belongs to you. When a stranger tries to talk to you, what should you do? You yell, my body is my body, and it belongs to me. Come on, Billy, stop playing. Oh, all right, fine. All right, good, now speak up. Even you can speak up. But anyways, everyone has their own body and it belongs to them and nobody else is allowed to see or touch it unless you're okay with it. And only you or your mommy or your daddy are allowed to see and touch, but only if you're in the big kid's undies and you're using the big kid toilet. Okay, I think they get it, Betty. Now let's go. My mommy made cookies and juice. Cookies and juice? Oh, right. bye! 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 Developmental stages. Middle childhood, 7 to 11 years. Thoughts. Is it my fault that this happened to me? What if I can't exactly remember what happened? I'm a bad person being punished. I deserved it. He says I agreed to it and everybody likes him. Why didn't I tell before? They'll think I like it. I don't want to go to court. Decentering thought starts to begin during middle childhood. Therapy that allows the child to understand that what happened to them was not their fault is especially beneficial at this stage. Ask the child about the event without suggestibility in order to allow completely accurate statements. Allow them to disclose information at their own rate without any added pressure. I want everybody to listen to the words of this song. Sexual abuse is a growing problem in America and it's something we can't change overnight. But if we speak up today, we could change someone's life tomorrow.
sexual abuse Something we don't speak about, we need to speak up Just to stop the kids from freaking out Something that they go through, we know when to go to We gotta do it for the kids, I'm just trying to coach you Wishing they can go and fly to the stars at night They stay to themselves, then it makes them hard to like They don't trust a single soul on this earth Labeled as a troubled kid, but they really scar for life It's a worldwide problem, so the world's who I'm rapping to Gotta speak up, man, that's really all I'm asking you Parents gotta be more involved in their lives Think about it, what if it was your kid that it happened to? Problem at hand that I present One out of four kids, that's 25% We gotta try to stop the pain so the feeling is bliss We want the truth, so this is as real as it gets Speak up, speak up, teach them to speak up Tell them that there's really nothing wrong if they speak up you can really change your life if you speak up See something that you don't like, then speak up Speak up, speak up, teach them to speak up Tell them that there's really nothing wrong if you speak up See something you don't like, then speak up Just remember, you can change someone's life if you speak up We would like to address all the teenagers and young adults of America that have little brothers and little sisters out there um, sexual abuse is something that's really a big issue and we really want you guys to just step up if you hear anything you see anything we need you guys to just speak up and make sure it's not something that goes forgotten about and pushed under the rug yes so if one of your friends come up to you and tell you something that someone made them uncomfortable you can either tell them to go talk to an adult or to or have them you know, go to like a counselor or even a lunch lady, anyone that's an adult that's com that you're comfortable with and have them tell them so that way they can help. The one thing you shouldn't do though is not tell anyone or to just keep it to yourself because honestly, who does that help? Nobody. And when, when you're not helping nobody, you're not helping yourself. So it's better if you speak up and you tell people. Remember everybody, be a speak up kid, not a don't tell. <laughs> we call those down to tell us. <laughs>sexual abuse something we don't speak about we need to speak up just to stop the kids from freaking out something that they go through we know when to go to we gotta do it for the kids i'm just trying to coach you wishing they can go and fly to the scars at night they stay to themselves then it makes them hard to like they don't trust a single soul on this earth labeled as a troubled kid but they really scar for life it's a worldwide problem so the world's who i'm rapping to gotta speak up man that's really all i'm asking you parents gotta be more involved in their lives think about it what if it was your kid that it happened to probably my hand that I present one out of four kids that's 25 percent we gotta try to stop the pain so the feeling is bliss you want the truth so this is as real as it gets uh, speak up speak up teach them to speak up tell them that there's really nothing wrong if they speak up see something you don't like then speak up remember you could go and change your life if you speak up speak up speak up teach them to speak up remember there ain't nothing wrong if you speak up you could go and change your life if you speak up See something you don't like, then speak up. Developmental stages, adolescent, 11 to 18 years. Thoughts. If I tell people, then everyone will know. All my friends will hate me. I'm embarrassed. People will gossip. I'll be put into a home. I just want to be like everybody else. Adolescents hold a belief system called an imaginary audience, where they believe that everyone is always looking at them and leads to internalizing behavior. Providing support groups and coping mechanisms that allow adolescents to cope with the trauma of sexual abuse will decrease internalization of emotions and provide comfort in knowing that privacy is maintained. Thank you so much for inviting me to share my poetry. I'm really honored to be here. Writing has saved my life. I've been doing it all my life. Highly recommend it. I'm going to start with Daddy's Little Girl. I wonder if I had ever been Daddy's Little Girl. You know, the one he runs home to and picks up and spins around, who sits on his lap holding his hand, just winding him around her finger. The one that gets kisses on the forehead and rides on his shoulders at the parade. 
the one he never wants to grow up, the little girl he calls Princess, instead of Topsy, the one who tells she is beautiful before she goes out to play, to Girl Scouts, to her first dance, to her prom, before her wedding, and upon the birth of each grandchild. The kind of girl you actually talk to and talk about her day, about her dreams. I wonder if he had ever been the kind of daddy you go to when you're afraid at night instead of the daddy you're afraid of at night. The kind of daddy who makes everything all right, the kind of daddy you dance with high up in his arms when you're little, who lets you dance on his feet when you're toddling, who practices with you before your first real dance, the kind of daddy who spoke softly to his little girl, the kind of daddy who never cursed at her, the kind who didn't make your stomach knot when you heard his feet on the stairs coming in the house after work, coming up the stairs at night. I wonder if I would know how to be present, how not to fly away without even notifying myself, how not to marry mean men when I wanted con women, how to sit with myself, how to be, how to be with you, how to give myself to those worthy and walk away from the rest how to be seductive and still feel clean. I wonder if I could be the one invited to candlelight dinners and dances and walks to nowhere just to be with me. I wonder what I might have been for me, for us, and if I ever will become whole and free, completely me, able to be the lover I yearn for intimately. Gospel Truth. We'll awaken one day, new and religious, whole and singing. Until now, dark woman, an insignificant reddish-brown spot on a sheet, douched in cold water and then washed away. Until now, watching, a devilish creature claw at you, climb on you and whisper in the dark, there's no more room on top. There's no more room on top. There's no more room on top. He stripped away my grandma's quilt and left me without regard, without feeling, but only for the night. My spirit rose with the sun each morning and I promise, determined, divined, to make my bed and lie in it. Undisturbed, alone with the sunshine coming in the window and the birds singing on the still, so I collected that light from the sun, from your smile, from everywhere it shine. Love and kindness sustained me until I found help in unexpected ways and places. Now I sleep soundly, swaddled and soothed and awaken each day to the gospel truth of the wonder that I am. Determination. I will break free from your wretched arms and take my chances in the storm. Guided by these moody winds, listening to the voice within, I will dive into the ocean's bed, into the cradle where life is fed. Swaddled in the water's floor, you cannot reach me anymore. Restored, renewed through many nights, I will emerge in splendid flight to far above this atmosphere where angels sing and I will hear clarity and truth, their song of peace. Holy, holy, I am released. Well, I know you learned something from that and I'm pretty confident that you enjoyed it just as well. Weren't the puppets great? Those puppets were donated by the person who made them, Lisa Jones. Um, this is her passion and this is her business. So, you know, please support Lisa um, in that business. These puppets are so good 
for teaching children about anything that you want them to, to learn about. Um, kids pay attention to them and they're just great. Weren't they fun? Weren't they just great? I really, I really loved them. Thank you so much, Lisa. Um, I, as the director of the center, I was just overwhelmed when Sue came in and showed me the puppets that you made and gave to us um, for the purpose of helping to keep our children safe. Um, as you see, Pop wasn't able to make it tonight, so we just wish him the best. He's not feeling well, a little under the weather, so keep him in your thoughts and prayers. He'll be up and around and with you for the next show. Uh, Pops has been real gracious with us, and we're, this is not the last show you're going to see from under our wings. And we're so excited. So please, you know, keep your eyes and ears tuned to West Hartford Public Access because we will be back uh, with a surprise. Pop has had some ideas that he's talked about. And um, so we'll be moving in that direction, coming back to you in the near future. In the meantime, just one thing I want to let you know, the greatest way, one of the greatest ways to prevent child sexual abuse is simply to have a loving and open relationship with your child. If they know what good, pure love is, the wrong stuff is going to feel yucky. And you just keep that open communication and let them know that they need to tell somebody anybody, everybody, just keep telling, and that healing is oh so possible. Uh, so I just say, um, in faith and in love and happiness, bid you good evening. I want everybody to listen to the words of this song. Sexual abuse is a growing problem in America, and it's something we can't change overnight. But if we speak up today, we could change someone's life tomorrow. Sexual abuse, something we don't speak about. We need to speak up just to stop the kids from freaking out. Something that they go through, we know when to go to. We gotta do it for the kids, I'm just trying to coach you. Wishing they can go and fly to the stars at night. They stay to themselves, then it makes them hard to like. They don't trust a single soul on this earth. Labeled as a troubled kid, but they really scar for life. It's a worldwide problem, so the world's who I'm rapping to. Gotta speak up, man, that's really all I'm asking you. Parents gotta be more involved in their lives. Think about it, what if it was your kid that it happened to? Problem at hand that I present. One out of four kids, that's 25%. We gotta try to stop the pain so the feeling is bliss. We want the truth, so this is as real as it gets. Speak up, speak up, teach them to speak up. Tell them that there's really nothing wrong if they speak up. You can really change your life if you speak up. See something that you don't like, then speak up. Speak up, speak up, teach them to speak up. Tell them that there's really nothing wrong if you speak up. See something you don't like, then speak up. Just remember, you can change someone's life if you speak up.